Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Adventures at Home. So today I have an unboxing. Uh, so I've been uh, mentioning this on my last few videos that I have an unboxing to do. Uh, this is an upgrade to the wood yard. So, um, so here's the box. There's actually a few boxes here. So you have your standard um, bubble wrap and a little inflatable plastic um, pillows. So here's kind of a hint of chainsaw chain. This is a 24 inch chainsaw chain. And here's the main, the main upgrade right here. Okay guys, I have my knife now, so I'll get this open. So it appears to be wrapped very well. So here it is. This is the Olsforma. This is the Holzforma G372 XP, brand new. So, not sure about the color. I, I, I kind of like the blue. Um, I would prefer the orange, but um, it's a pretty sharp looking saw. So guys, if you remember uh, the video that I did a couple months back, I was in the woods and I was bucking up that large ash log. Uh, it was about a 30 foot ash log, 22 inch in diameter. And I quickly realized that I needed a larger chainsaw. Um, that chainsaw was struggling quite a bit on that 22 inch ash log. Um, it was getting through it, but it was taking quite a bit of time. And I just thought, gee, um, I think I need something bigger. I don't normally cut up logs that large, but I do get quite a few logs between 16 and 20 inches. And it, it just takes a while with that uh, Husky Rancher 450. Um, so anyway, I started looking around for uh, another Husqvarna. I, I was looking for, a, uh, I think it's a 572 XP. Um, I think the, uh, the 372 XP, I think, has been discontinued. Uh, so I was looking to, to purchase a 572 XP. And uh, I was just having a hard time finding a Husky dealer. Uh, you know, I, you go to your website and, and basically... Um, you have to find a dealer to buy one, unless I'm mistaken, but it looked like you had to buy one from a dealer. So anyway, um, I just couldn't find a dealer nearby and I couldn't buy a Husky on their website. So I basically kind of gave up uh, on that. And then it was, it was getting close to uh, Thanksgiving and I figured, you know, there's going to be some Black Friday sales coming up, maybe. Um, so I thought, let me check out the Holes Forma. I, I know some guys have these. Um, I've watched quite a few videos on them. And uh, everybody's had good, good, uh, good reviews of these. I know Adam at uh, Hometown Acres has one. Uh, he's had his for at least a couple of years. And... He's never mentioned any problems with it, and it looks like it does uh, very good. So, anyway, I checked out the the Farmer Tech Holes Forma uh, website. This was Thanksgiving week, and they did have a Thanksgiving Black Friday sale going on. And this saw uh, this. Uh, G372 XP was going for $165. I thought, boy, I cannot pass that up. I mean, $165. Um, I know the, uh, the 372 XP, the Husky, it probably goes for $1,000, maybe $1,100. I mean, something, somewhere around $1,000. 
So I thought I, I really can't go wrong on this. I mean, if it just lasts a few months and it could cut up a few cords of wood with it, you know, $165, yeah, that's, that's worth it. So um, anyway, um, here it is. <clears throat> so let me give you some close-ups of it. Um, it's just too cold today, too, too snowy. We have about two feet of snow outside yet, and I can't even get, get to, the, um, to the woods in the back. Um, the trail back there has got two feet of snow. So I may even go out there and plow it uh, just to uh, uh, try this out. Plus, I, I'm about out of firewood, too. <laughs> I'm just about completely out. Uh, of firewood to sell at the roadside stand. So I, I really do have to get back there soon. Uh, I think next to Wednesday is supposed to be about 45 degrees. So um, that might be the day I take off from work and get back there and try to um, cut up some logs with this and make some more firewood. So anyway, um, I'll show you some close-ups of this. Uh, I'm not going to really do much with it. I mean, um, there's not a whole lot to show you here. So guys, here's a close-up of the, the chainsaw. Um, again, it's the G372 XP. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe an on-off switch. Of course, it looks like the oil is probably there. And this is fuel here. I'm gonna turn this around for you guys. So there it is. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a try. Um, I'm looking forward to having some, some real power when I'm bucking up the logs. There's the front of it. It's, it's a very powerful saw. I'm looking forward to trying out the 24 inch bar uh, on these big rounds. So hopefully soon the snow will melt and I can get back there and uh, do a video on this. I also got the 24 inch bar and the 24 inch chain. So here's the uh, hose forma 24 inch bar. Um, so I'm looking forward to using this along with the chain that goes with it. And I did get the uh, the chainsaw mill, so it has a uh, there. There was a chainsaw mill on sale there, also the 36 inch chainsaw mill. So here's the 36 inch uh, chainsaw mill. Uh, th there's about 20 pieces in here, so I'm not going to take those out at this point. But um, I may do a quick video on putting this together and actually using it. Um, in the coming weeks. So anyway, the bar, <clears throat> so the bar and chain, the 24 inch bar and chain were $49 and the sawmill, the 36 inch sawmill was only 39. So I think the shipping was 91. Uh, so that, that was kind of pricey to shipping. Um, and then you're probably wondering, well, how long did it take? So this was, uh, I think it was Black Friday or Maybe it was even that, that Saturday. <clears throat> so you think about it, you know, from then until maybe two weeks ago, it arrived. So roughly six weeks. So this actually got here a lot quicker than I thought. You know, we've been hearing about the supply chain issues and, you know, just, just how long things are taking to, to be shipped. But really six weeks, I was expecting three months. I, I wasn't really expecting this until uh, sometime next month. So anyway, uh, you might want to check out their website. I don't. I, I doubt if it's still going for that price, but 
if you're not in a big rush, just just wait until uh, November of this year. And they may have another good sale like this. But uh, again, for a, a 71cc chainsaw that's a clone of the Husky 372 XP, um, and all the parts are interchangeable. So if something breaks on this, I should be able to buy a Husky 372 XP part for it and just just pop it on there. So um, I'll let you know what my experience is. So I plan on using this quite a bit over the next few years. And, you know, I'll do other videos on it and just let you know, you know, was it a piece of junk? Maybe. Um, but I'll let you know, I, I have no bias. Um, I really did not want to buy a Chinese chainsaw, actually. Um, I wanted to buy the Husky, um, but they didn't make it easy. Um, I wish I could have just went on the Husqvarna website, ordered one, you know, I would have done that. Um, uh, I think they're kind of old school. <laughs> People are used to going on Amazon nowadays and just ordering what they want and having it within a day or two. Um, they don't want to have to go and find a dealer and then go to the dealer and, you know, work with a salesman there to purchase something. Um, I would just uh, speak to Husqvarna and Steel. <clears throat> you better get your act together. <clears throat> you better get with the times because People want to just shop online. We've been doing that now for two years. Uh, we just want to shop online, put it in our cart, pay for it with our credit card, and go. Um, that's just the way it is. That that's that's the new uh, the new economy. So the days of people wanting to go to a dealer to to look at something, and I mean. We have so many videos on YouTube on these things, we, we don't actually even have to go try something out. Um, you can just watch people using it. So, and, and that's what I did. So that convinced me. So anyway, I uh, just don't want to make a long speech of it, but anyway, um, I did not really want to buy a Chinese chainsaw, but it was such a great price. I thought, well, $165, good to try. And uh, I'll let you know what my experience is. So anyway, guys, that's that's really all I had today. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the content, uh, please subscribe and, and like the video. And uh, just be watching out for further uh, videos on this this chainsaw. I'll, I'll be using it quite a bit. and I'll be doing quite a bit of uh, video on this uh, chainsaw uh, just to give you uh, a good idea uh, of what it's like and if, if you would want to purchase one.